Hello Internet. Today we're doing the second version of the video on Wazoo, so I'm going to show you how to connect the agents. Please feel free to subscribe. It pains me to ask, but please do. So I'll show you how to add an agent. For example, uh, on my LCX Docker, I have an IP of 10.9.8.106. So we are in the same range, in the same subnet as what I have for my Wazoo agent. This shouldn't pose any problems, but I'll show you another version later if you have firewall issues and a more advanced version as well. So Wazoo. No, 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 guys, sorry, I can do it. If, it, if this was an AI version of my voice, I think it was easier for you to understand, but it's just so creepy. I'm just going to do it myself now. Let me know what you think as a comment, though. So as you can see, it's 10.9, but 8.245, and then I have test scale underneath. So that's my AP for my Wazoo server. Uh, you can see where that the AP address for the Wazoo server. Actually, that's a test scale address, but we're going to go through that, through that later, sorry. Uh, we're going to select deb md64, at least that's what I use in my case, and we could name it, I suppose, docker. And then underneath we have the CLI, so we're just going to copy it and enter this in docker. It's taking its time there, but it should be, yeah, here we go. So now we have to go down there and copy the command as well, so it's basically just restarting the services. Um, so again, take a few seconds. Here we go. So now if we go here, we see we still have three active clients or agents, should I say. Um, and I did that in purpose because actually I want to show you guys how to troubleshoot a bit. So if you check there to check the service, everything is fine. So not there. If we try something else, we're going to change the log. Um, so you just have to enter this and enter and you can see nothing special there. All those and log is very limited, meaning it doesn't do any connection. And then finally, you can modify the agent. So if we go there, there we go. You can see the address there and you can change it. So in this case, we're going to use the local IP because the, this first setup we use, which is 10.9.8.245. And then if we control X to save it and then Y and restart the Wazoo agent, we should be good to go. So it's going to take a few seconds again, and it's not like immediate. So you're going to have to wait as well again, once it's done to connect to Wazoo, because you have to do some scan before. We can do, if you click up on the arrow up, you can have the last command. And then if you go back there, you can see the, yeah, here we go. So you have the connection now is, should be fine if we go to the web interface, or we're going to, in first, then that nine, that eight, that two forty five. You can see there's no problem with the connection. You can reach the right and refreshing the web interface, and hopefully we should see. Here we go. Four agents. So you can see where there is a Docker agent. Um, then that nine, that eight, that one and six, and is active. Uh, now we're gonna try something else. So here you can see I have a different subnet. And I don't like all these YouTubers who all basically say uh, it's fine and we just going to do like this and accept every port and everything. I don't like this. So as you can see, uh, my firewall bro block everything. I can't read the weather server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Tailscale and I do love Tailscale a lot. Um, and I'm going to do a video about Tailscale one day, I promise. Uh, so basically what we're going to do first, we're going to change the LCX to allow Tayscale, so we're going to enter, in my case, is LCX 109. And then at the bottom, we're going to add a line to allow this traffic. So we're just going to copy and paste this, which is mandatory to allow Tayscale. So Control X again to save and Y, and then we're going to go back to this container or to this LCX and restart it. Uh, we're obviously going to update and upgrade everything before installing Tayscale. And then we have the scripts from Tayscale, which is going to do everything for us. So just a few seconds and it should be all right. And now Tayscale up. 
and it should give us a new URL. Actually, it's probably going to block because of the video I just stand on YouTube if you saw it. So my uh, IPS is blocking the traffic, I suppose. Yeah. So it's blocking pay scale. Uh, so I'm going to allow this traffic because that's obviously what I want to do. And I'm going to click here. And that actually just for my case, you're most likely not going to have to do that unless you have a very <laughs> secure uh, gateway. Sorry. We're just going to copy now the address and then this is going to offer us to connect. I choose Apple Connect, but you can use whatever you want with your Telescale account, so to see whatever you use to create an account. And mine is connected now, so it's fine. So if I go to the web interface of Telescale and be able to look up for this new client or this new node, you can see we're at 169.91.80 and it's connected. So we're not just going to I know everything we gonna we're gonna ask ChatGPT to help us and first we're gonna ask for the port used for for Wazoo, sorry. Uh, so you can see where is fifteen fourteen uh and then we're gonna ask it to create a ACL rule. So ACL rule is basically a kind of firewall thing to allow this client to connect to the server. And we're gonna add a tag as well. So basically, if, if you have feature things, feature agent and everything, you can just add the tag without having to enter the IP address. I'm gonna show you everything in detail. So you can see where that is basically the demo firewall rules, but I'm very far too lazy to do everything. So I'm gonna copy my existing rules and I'm gonna say, can you update my full ACL? And when I paste it, and there we go. So you can see they add the tag and there is all rules uh, made up for me. So I just have to copy and paste. Uh, so there we go. So copy and I'm going to pass there and save and we're good to go. So I'm just going to add the tag quickly. So if I go back on this um, node, so you can see here, add ACL tag and I'm going to add a tag. And if I scroll down, I should see, actually I have two. So it's probably a duplicate from my old setup I did. So was your client and then save. So now I can do this. I'm going to leave the Tayscale server IP because now we connected to Tayscale. And then I'm going to copy this command and paste it there. Okay, so it's good but we do not have super is do. So we're just going to remove it from the command and then it's fine. Yeah. And now we're going to have to reset the or restart the services. And again, we don't have super is do. So we're going to do manually, just remove it every time. And if you like this content, please do like this, <laughs> this video. I'm sorry to ask again. I'm desperate. Um, anyway, so if we go back there and we refresh everything, we should be able to see this new connection. I'm just going to check there. So log, and you can see there is the, there is a, actually a root check scan, which is ending. So that's pretty cool. And we should be connected now. So let's refresh everything. And you can see five uh, agent now. So you have this new Scroblex uh, something. Uh, and you can see everything here. So that about it for this video. It was very quick, but I just wanted to show you how to do it and two different versions. And see you next time. Bye.